Hello, today is April 27th. So I uh, came to my spot to seek the Lord with some quiet time. Um, much needed for sure. I just uh, want to pray first before I continue on with this message. Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, that it is through you and the power of the Holy Spirit that this message is inspired only through you, the Holy Spirit, Father God. Give me the words to speak. Pour your Spirit upon me, Lord. It's you and I here in our secret place, Lord. Well, Lord, it's not so secret here because other people come here and they leave trash. So, Lord, continue to protect this spot, Lord, where you brought me, where you reveal yourself to me as you will reveal yourself to all those who seek you lord so i pray that those who hear this video they receive the message in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i want to read mark 16 verses 15 through 17. jesus speaking the great commission Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. That's verse 15. Verse 16. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who believe who excuse me, but he who does not believe will be condemned. Verse 17. And these signs, remember signs, that's a good word. I love that word in these days. The Lord is really revealing signs will follow those who believe those who believe in my name jesus they will cast out demons always rebuke and cast out demons in the name of jesus christ never on your own accord it's serious business you know so continuing on they will speak with new tongues the gift of tongues uh paul the apostle speaks of it in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 to 14, Paul even says, pray that you also have interpretation. So, you know, I, I think that is powerful and it's the words of Jesus. So, you know, he's speaking pretty clear. The word of God is pretty like straightforward to tell you that, hey, in these days, you know, people will speak with new tongues. So, the Lord's gifted me with the gift of tongues and to interpret the tongues that I speak. And um, he really reveals himself, you know, when you're in the spirit, and you pray in the tongues. There's that other tongues I do not understand because it's like, wow, it's pretty powerful. But then there's those other tongues where, I don't know, it sounds like from a different country, but it's interpreted. The Lord gives me interpretation. and. And he's, even in writing, I don't know, this may look crazy, but let's see if you can see it. I write that when I'm in the, in the spirit with the Lord. And I write it right to left, right to left. I don't know if anybody else out there has written stuff like this. And here's another one. I wrote that right to left. But in the spirit. And that happened after her, he gave me the gift of tongues, August the 3rd, 2020, last summer. So, um, I want to also read right now. Sorry if I'm moving so much. I kind of wanted to show you some of that writing. But John um, chapter 4, verse 23. I do believe I read this again, but I'll read it again because God's word is awesome. But the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit. God is spirit. So when you're in the spirit, uh, talking, praying, and just singing or whatever you do to connect with God, it's in the spirit. And when you're in the spirit, it's just amazing. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. So, you know, I, I think it's uh, important for one to really seek the Lord in um, intimate time especially in these days if one can do so um, it's it's cool you know if you can dedicate some time to the Lord but um anyhow I was sitting uh, well excuse me I was standing on that rock 
and uh, the Lord, you know, I was praying to him, you know, in the tongues, and he gave me like, like speaking to me, like, I don't know, it's like a message also. It was coming out in a message, and he was sh showing me, or telling me that when I'm speaking in tongues, and if I'm going to do it, there has to be interpretation, of course, yes. Um, I do know that from what scripture says, but he gave me the gift to interpret my tongues. So he's teaching me to like, like a little slower, slower. So I, I'm going to sing, I'm going to sing a song that when I come up here, I like to sing to the Lord. I got peace like a river. I miss going to churches like that, that just straight out sing out of a hymn book. I remember that as a kid. I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river in my soul. I got joy like a fountain. I got joy like a fountain. I got joy like a fountain in my soul. Ikiri shikiriki ishikiki kiriki ishikiki kiriki hushara akoro shakarashi akaro shakarashi akaro shakarashi kikiro. I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river in my soul. Ikiri shikiriki, ikiri shikiriki, ishikiki kiriki ikaro. Ah, fly away, oh glory, ah, fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, ah, fly away. Ah, kakri shikikiri, shikiri. Ikiri kirari sokororo ara sharira. Um, so <laughs> praying with the Lord uh, and singing with the Lord, and that was in the tongues. I did it slower, so people can see that God is real, and He gives people gifts, wonderful gifts. Those who are unbelievers, God is real. He poured His Spirit on me and now I speak in a different language. I've never, ever, that's the testimony and the power working of the Holy Spirit, the power of God through Jesus Christ. So those who don't believe in God, please, the door is going to close. The door is going to close. Give your heart to Jesus Christ. Give your heart to Jesus Christ. I pray this message is received. And I share humbly, not of my accord, no boasting in myself, only in God and His power through the Holy Spirit. It is not I, but through the power and inspiration of the Holy Spirit. So please, keep your lamps filled with oil and be watching. The bridegroom cometh. Bye.